Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome on board our vessel to Mars. Boarding is completed as all systems are set and we're sure that we don't take the coronavirus to outer space. Thanks for your cooperation, by the way. We are ready to launch. First rule, don't panic. Cabin crew, prepare for takeoff. <laughs> Seconds till lift off. E minus fifteen seconds. Okay, nine is configured for flight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. This is your captain with an update from the cockpit. We arrived in Earth's orbit safe and sound. Let me please especially welcome one very special passenger, an extraordinary visionary, a multi-talented engineer, a super smart entrepreneur, and not at least the man who made this mission to Mars possible. Please give a very warm welcome to Mr. Elon Musk. Please take a look at our wonderful planet. Isn't it gorgeous? As curious as I am to see Mars, I'm really looking forward to come back to our old homestead. South Africa in the 70s. A boy from Pretoria facing childhood problems. He reads 10 hours a day. Star Wars and science fiction. But this one's got talent. For machines and for money. Game begin. At the age of 12, he programmed his first computer game on the good old Commodore. Young Elon sold Blastar for $500. Develop stuff, let it grow, sell it soon. This is how he made his fortune and his opportunity to go even further. This is the way. One sentence he never wanted to hear. You're in the army now. So he got himself a passport, moved to Canada, leaving the South African apartheid regime behind. He was 16 years old. After some time in Kinston, he left Canada, went to Pennsylvania, got his bachelor and then moved south. Ah, Stanford University, Palo Alto, where all the Silicon dreams were about to come true. Elon was one of those who founded the legend of the valley. With $2,000, a car and a computer, and nothing more, he and his brother Kimball founded Zip2, a company that provided and licensed online city guide software to newspapers. Four years later, he sold it to Compaq for $307 million. Quite a story, but just the start. A typical story of those times. Develop and invest. Find allies. Merge. Disrupt. The rise of PayPal. 
His first vision of making things easier for people using the digitization. Elon Musk helped to change the financial industry forever. PayPal was sold for $1.5 billion to eBay. Elon held 11.7% of the shares. A big winner in the big game. Money that he uses to make the world a better place. He attacks on the world's best settled market, the automotive industry. We created Tesla to make a difference in the world. Tesla, disruption at its best. Not everything worked out perfect. Oh my fucking God. Well. But his long breath proved him right. He is pushing all his competitors forward. He is expanding. He leads technology. He leads infrastructure and logistics. And if necessary, he works and sleeps at the factory. And he is Ein Berliner. Soon, very soon. We've decided to put uh, the Tesla Gigafactory uh, Europe uh, in the Berlin area. Yeah. That's the news! And Tesla is just on the cutting edge of an idea. Autonomous driving is born. So for us, being a little startup, we had to start up with a car that was in, in, in low production and necessarily expensive. The, their idea of an electric car is something that doesn't look good, isn't fast, doesn't have high performance. We wanted to break the mold of all of that. That's what we sought to achieve. Saving time for important things. Saving time for stuff that is fun. Well, it is fun to drive a Tesla. But on an endless motorway, even riding gets tiring. It's human. We're bored very soon. Let the car drive and get some food for the brain while it does the work. And last but not least, fuel it with energy that is not harmful to the planet. Elon embraces his responsibility. But this is never enough. Much more is needed. Elon can't stop thinking about the future, of making things work better, more efficient, a visionary, a man who never gives up. Although there would have been a few moments when giving up would have been a more than plausible option. He reaches out for the stars, the real ones, the stars shining bright at night in the sky. <laughs> you see them both light up? He is a superstar and still the kid who loves sci-fi. SpaceX is not only a business, it's not a hobby, it's a passion. Elon is CEO and its first spaceship designer. It is all rocket science, really. Many laughed at him. NASA with its billions, the Russians with their ruthless and dead serious ambitions. The, the, the whole goal of SpaceX was um, for space exploration technology, and that's uh, helping make humanity a space brain civilization. He transported Americans to the ISS. Three. Two, one. Ignition. Lift off. The line. Dragon. Go Godspeed. Dog. Private economy is more effective and sustainable than state economy. Crew Dragon is a gentle slap in the face for over-the-top institutional rocketeers. The Russians took it personal. Elon Musk must not be quoted by them. Too successful. Russia, some things never change. Can one man change the world? Yeah, sure. Elon Musk did it, and he doesn't stop there. And I think that's one of the things that, you know, makes people excited about the future. And we want the things that are in science fiction novels and movies not to be science fiction forever. We want them to be real one day. What if one could help handicapped people by connecting the body with machines to reconnect neural disorders? Hey, 
Presto, Neuralink. What if we could get rid of traffic on our city streets? Dig a deep, long tunnel beneath them and shoot the cars from one side of the town to the other. Hey, Presto, the boring company. The name, by the way, is one of the best puns ever. And stop. If we can do that with cars, why shouldn't we do it with goods and people? In full speed, 600 kilometers in 35 minutes. Just do it. Hey, presto, Hyperloop. But all that's earthbound. Reach for the stars and planets. We're already on our way to Mars. This is your captain speaking. Well, rather gasping. What a trip that was. And it's not over yet. Let's hear it from the man himself. I'd kindly ask you now, Elon, to come on stage and join Axel Springer CEO Matthias Döpfner for a little chat. Well, well that was well, fun. Yeah, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Yeah, it's like a ride. I mean, I think you could charge money for this. This was great. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it really makes a difference to have this, this two screens and the angle change. It's like, that felt great like Disney ride. Elon, apart from the 